Right, okay, welcome everybody to uh, session number 32 of the Friday morning warm-ups. And uh, what we're going to do to start with, as always, is a little bit of clapping. Later on, we'll um, do some tonal warm-ups and some scales and intervals and so on. But um, first of all, I'm just going to put onto the screen a um, little clapping rhythm. Okay, you should be able to see that. That's the little clapping rhythm at the top. Now, underneath on the second line is what's called the son clave, or two, three clave. Um, I might break into that rhythm every now and again, but um, which is uh, locks in with the little, what's called a conga rhythm. It's just a typical rhythm that a conga player might play on a um, piece of music, on a particularly a Cuban music, piece of music. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the metronome on. Um, I'm gonna ask you to, you can hear that, I think. Um, I'm going to ask you to tap your feet left to right in time with the um, metronome. If for any reason you find that um, you can't keep up the rhythm, the clapping rhythm with your feet going at the same time, just stop your feet and concentrate on the rhythm. Um, if I change my rhythm into the bottom one, then just keep on the top one. Although you're welcome to have a go at the second one as well. So first of all, let's just get that first rhythm going. Notice there's a rest at the beginning. So I'm going to count you in, then it'll be one rest and a clap. So here we go. After four, one, two, three, four. One. One. I'm doing the second one now. Keep on the top one. Last one, one. Excellent, right, okay, good. Uh, that's our clapping rhythm of the day. And uh, we're now gonna move on quickly to long tones. I say long tones, that's for the wind instruments. Uh, for the other instruments, um, use whatever technique you like that uh, will warm up your fingers. And so perhaps just play some very quick trills on the guitar like that to get the right hand moving perhaps or some quick uh, left hand up and downs um, or any sort of scale pattern you might think um, will help warm up the fingers so I'm just going to play well the, the scale today is D D mixolydian so I'm just going to play the note D and you can play something along with that we'll just do this for a minute um, so remember to take a breath if you're blowing anything for too long here we go one two three four <laughs> So just concentrate on the sound you're making and the feel of it. And aim for a nice tone as well, of course. Don't press too hard or don't blow too hard.
and after four we'll finish one two three four okay good hopefully that's uh, started to warm up various parts of the body um, now let's warm up something a little bit more musical let's um, we're going to do the chromatic scale and a bit like we've been doing it for the last couple of weeks um, we're going to start on the uh, tonic note which is D for concert instruments B for altos and uh, E for tenors and trumpets and um, start on that note we're going to play the note we're going to go down one semitone or one fret and then back up to the first note so those three notes before then taking a rest very brief rest <laughs> and then moving up a semitone to the next one and gradually working our way up to the octave so um, I'm going to put the metronome on at quite a slow tempo there we go and after four we're going to do those little three note um, phrases after four one two three four up a semitone up a semitone And I'm confident we all arrived at the top at the same time. So let's go and do that again, starting from the low note. Same pattern, same sequence. After four. One, two, three, four. So that's at concert D. It should be on or B for altos and uh, E for uh, tenors. Good. Okay, well, that's the chromatic scale, uh, a variation of. And uh, we're now going to move, move on to the sheet, the exercise sheet. So I'll put the concert instrument on the screen in front of you. And if you, if you need it, then dig out the um, B flat and E flat parts for your particular instrument. We are doing what's called the Mixolydian scale and we're actually doing the D mixolydian scale in other words the one that starts on the note D concert D um, just there's two ways of uh, memorizing or thinking of the mixolydian scale one is it's exactly the same as the major scale the D major scale except that the seventh note on the mixolydian scale is flattened by one semitone um, so you can think of it that way so you start off just like the major scale but then when you get to the seventh note you just play the note of flattened seventh instead of uh, a major seventh so that's one way of thinking of the D mixolydian scale another way is to think of the um, parent scale which is G major now the notes in D mixolydian are exactly the same as the notes in G major so G A B C D is the fifth one away from G G A B C D so another way of thinking of it is to play G major but start on D 
So if you already know a D major, a G major scale, sorry, start on D and play the same scale. So two different ways of thinking of the Mixolydian scale. Anyway, having said that, it's all written out in front of you. So you can just play what's on the screen or on your sheet of paper. Um, now, I tried this last time after last week's episode and um, I found it rather fast. So I'm going to slow it down for your benefit as well as mine. And um, just play a little bit slower. So it's going to go at that speed. Da, 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 da. If you find that two octaves is too far, it might go out of the reach of your instrument. Just do one octave and perhaps jump back down to the bottom and do it again. Um, so here we go. Anyway, we're going to just play the first two bars of the sheet in front of you just once. So here we go. After four, one and two and three and four and... <laughs> Okay, that's 40 beats a minute, which is quite slow, but it's still quite a lot to play. So let's do that again after four. One and two and three and four and. If I just um, show you what the seventh note was, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's the note which is flattened. The major would have been slightly higher. Okay, one more time on the first two bars. Two and three and four and. Now, for anyone who happened to find that easy, make it harder for yourself. Use more fingers or use a different uh, range or another part of your instrument. All depends uh, what you're playing, of course. But uh, OK, we're going to do the second two uh, bars now. So this is the descending D mixolydian scale. So starting on the high note, coming down after four. One and two and three and four. Do that again. One and two and three and four and. Good, good, good. And we're just for once, we're just, just one shot. We're going to go right across the, all four bars. So when we get to the top, you've got that uh, quite crotchet, that longer note, then come down from the same note. So here we go. We're going to do all four bars just once. After four, one and two and three and four. <laughs> There we go, that's the uh, D mixolydian scale, two octaves, and um, the chord that's associated, most associated with anyway, is the D7 chord. So when you see D7 on a piece of music, and if you're an improviser and you're thinking, what shall I play on that? D mixolydian scale is the most natural sounding scale over D7. Or D7 flat 9 possibly, but uh, D7 then definitely. Okay, let's move on to uh, the next line. And um, we've got the same scale here uh, in a different position on the guitar, just to keep you uh, alert. Um, just doing one octave, and we're just going to um, just play it in ever increasing um, intervals. So we're starting with a second, then a third, then a fourth, then a fifth, then a sixth, then a seventh. So all the way across the second line, starting after four, and a little bit faster because there are any crotchets now. One, sorry, hang on, get that clicking off. One, 
two, three, four. Oops, misfingered that one. Uh, and again, after four, one, two, three, four. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning the seventh is because that's what's giving it the distinctive sound different to the uh, major scale. One more time on that line after four. One, two, three, four. Um, okay, we're going to move on now and to, um, as I've always said, there are lots of different ways of practicing the, the scale in different patterns just to make it actually sound a bit more, a bit more interesting and a bit more musical. And we've got a slightly different one this time. Um, we're going to go up by three notes of the scale to start with, drop back down to the second note, then up four. Now that sounds complicated, but when you hear it, you'll realise it's a, a familiar sounding pattern. But we are going to take it nice and slowly. So I'm going to go back to the speed that we did the scale at and um, work our way up. So we're doing the whole of this line, scale ascending in four note cells. Uh, let's just go for it. So here we go. One and two and three and four and... <laughs> Do that again. One and two and three and four and. One more for luck. I do like to do these three times, these things. Uh, one and two and three and four. It's when um, the following day I listen back to these uh, recordings and practice, uh, go through them on my trumpet, which I'm learning, um, I realise when um, I've got the tempo too fast or too slow and I'm struggling. So uh, that's a good measure. Um, OK, we're going to move on now with some rhythms. Now, we're looking at the um, major third as an interval here, and uh, which is a, obviously a distinctive part of the of the Mixolydian scale, it's also of the major scale. And uh, we're doing a descending major third, and I've had one or two suggestions of people sending it, that people have sent in of songs which start on a major third. And the reason for doing this is so that it helps people recognize when they're hearing a major third, as a go opposed to a minor third, for example. And um, the one I mentioned was um, Summertime, which starts on summertime, that opening first two notes. Um, uh, Chris, who's not here today, actually, is at the dentist, if you want to know. He didn't mind me telling you. Um, he, he said um, Beethoven's fifth um, starts on a descending major third. And also, what was the other one he mentioned? Uh, oh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. 
Um, that also starts on a major descending major third. So a couple of examples there of songs starting on that interval. Let's just play that interval now. So we're going to just do the first bar. Um, let's knock up the speed a little bit. And we're just going to do the first bar. I'm just going to loop it. So just keep playing those two notes. One, two, three, four. sound of the uh, descending major third. Now I don't know how many people thought that was their doorbell but that's also a descending major third and that's this next one. Um, I'm going to play it at a lower, lower, <laughs> lower pitch than that but um, okay we're just going to loop the second bar now and uh, so the, the good old British doorbell there's another example of a descending major third and it actually is the same two notes as these. So here we go. Oh, most of them are anyway. Um, one, two, three, four. Three, four. Let's move on to bar number three now. Uh, this is a little bit like the opening melody line of Summertime in a different key, but. Um, da -da -da. Um, so we're going to do bar three, just going to loop that. So I think we'll just go straight for it. So one, uh, one two, three, four. Okay, on to bar, the fourth bar of this um, particular set of uh, rhythms. And um, do, 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 do. Uh, let's just play it once just to make sure we've got the rhythm right, first of all. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so they're both, uh, they're both, both phrases are sitting in the same part of the rhythm, as it were. Uh, after four, let's, let's just loop it now. So, one, two, three, four. Four. One more time. Da 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 da. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from, but that's uh, something familiar about that as well. Um, okay, moving on to the uh, last line of the sheet now. And um, here we've got these uh, triplets. Um, so this is a sort of a dump, da dump, da dump sort of uh, sound. Dun, de dun, de dun. Uh, okay, just watch out for that pause, uh, rest at the end. So let's just do this one once. So we're on the first bar of the bottom line. So just once, first of all. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I need those rests between. One, two, three, four. That's better. Okay, we're going to loop that uh, first bar now. So one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
One more time. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, onto the second bar. So we've got some semi quavers. Da 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 da. Um, uh, da 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 da. Okay, so we've got a uh, crotchet rest at the end. So um, time to take a big breath there if you're blowing uh, this particular rhythm. And um, okay, so the second bar. Um, let's just play it once. One, one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, I missed the uh, change there. And again, one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. That wasn't quite right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Okay, let's loop it now. One, two, three, four. Now we're on to the last two bars and this is a two bar rhythm and you may recognize it as being the same as the conga pattern we clapped at the beginning of the session. Um, this time I've given uh, two different notes to it so it's possibly resembling the conga pattern a little bit, uh, the real conga pattern because of course that wouldn't be played on just one conga drum, it would be played on two or three. So, um, so we're just going to play the second, uh, both these bars and we'll loop them because we've already been playing this today. So um, here we go. We're just going to play those two bars, uh, the last two bars, and looped. One, two, three, four. There we have it. There's the um, the rhythms based on the descending uh, major third and um, swing low, sweet chariot, uh, Beethoven's fifth, and summertime. Okay, I'm going to take that off the screen now because uh, we're now going to go to the um, strumming pattern. And um, well, you may have seen in the email anyway. Uh, we've just got one chord rather than the usual several. And um, one of the reasons for this is that quite often um, you, you get pieces of music which are just based on a static, what's called a static chord. It's not going anywhere. It just keeps going along at one particular on one particular chord. Um, D7 is our particular chosen one. So I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little bit of a swing rhythm. And um, if you're playing chords along with me, then vary the chords, um, the voicings and the octave and so on. Um, if, you're, if you want to practice soloing over it, use the scale, the D mixolydian scale, which will sound um, nice over this, um, which don't forget is the same as G major, if you wanted to just revert to G major. But think of the notes in the chord D, D7, D and the F sharp and the A. Likewise for the altos and the tenors. So tenors playing the E um, mixolydian scale, uh, which is A major, note, same notes as A major. And um, the B7 uh, scale, B mixolydian, or for the altos, uh, E major. Got all that? <laughs> Good, I think I have. I hope that was right, I think it was. 
Okay, so I'm just going to strum those chords and you can um, noodle away in a nice relaxed I don't care fashion. Just uh, play along. One, and let me just set the old egg timer for a minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that's our strumming for the day and um, let me just get that off the screen and uh, come back to gallery view there we have it well it's lovely to see um, again such a nice big crowd and um, hope you enjoyed that and you're all feeling nice and warmed up ready for uh, the day and if you'd like to unmute yourself you can all say goodbye to each other and hopefully okay. see you all next week yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B